VICU or virtual ICU is the move of the ICU further into the 21st century. We're using all the technologies that are available to us to really be able to reach out and see patients. So we're using closed circuit cameras, we're using uh, teleconferencing equipment, we're using remote access, we're using the electronic medical record to be able to see the patient, to be able to read their notes, and to be able to look at all the tests and x-rays and any other imaging that's available. We will dial up the RPAH uh, and be give them a notice that we wish to speak to the intensive care specialists and or the intensive care nursing staff, and they will be patched on immediately. Once that happens, that'll be both uh, a audio and a visual contact that we'll have with the appropriate intensivist, for example. Uh, and we will let, they will have access uh, to our EMR or our, our, our record system. They'll also have access visually to being able to see the patient and see the proceedings that are happening. For patients, this is going to mean that there's going to be real-time support for the staff who are there at the bedside giving them an extra pair of eyes, an extra pair of ears, to really extend all the things that the staff at Broken Hill can already do and provide better care for the patients. But we will have the, the highest possible level of expertise in terms of critical care available to us virtually, either visually or by, by, by um, audio, uh, and that will be 24 seven, which means that we potentially could keep these people on, on, on country uh, uh, with, a, with a good outcome. I think that the confidence of the uh, local community uh, um, and the respective communities within the far west will increase dramatically when they see what we can achieve. Here at RPA we've got 50 ICU beds. Prince Alfred ICU looks after well over 3,000 critically ill patients a year. Uh, and Broken Hill is in the hundreds. Um, so, you know, so much more experience here and we really want to st stretch that experience out to our West. Effectively, we, we function as a high dependency unit, which means we, we are lower level than the ICU, although we do undertake intensive care, care of patients here uh, by virtue of necessity. Uh, what we are able to do when we start partnering with LH, other LHDs uh, is not only gain access to their skills, but also the knowledge that, they, that they're able to give us uh, and also importantly, the training that's available. Uh, and it's just knowing that there's someone there when you're in trouble that you can pick up the phone, turn on the, the camera and know that you're going to get the best possible advice and assistance with the care you're providing that's available in Australia. Thank you.